What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to another video. We hope you have been enjoying our week full of nods. I know that both Tony and I are quite looking forward to seeing knots this season. I know we have two dates already planned in stone. Locked in. Attend, locked and loaded for this season. Unfortunately, uh, <laughs> as much as, as we've been saying all week, probably. We're sad we don't get season passes, but we're also looking on the bright side. Um, but uh, what? that's not what you're here for. You're not here to hear us complain. You're here for that game plan. Yearly tradition here at the Knights of Horror for both Horror Knights and Not Scary Farm. The game plan to get you through everything. Guaranteed because we've tested a lot of these game plans ourselves. Yeah, this, this game plan is proven to work. You're asking yourself, oh my god, there is eight mazes, five scare zones. How am I going to do that all? Well, you've come to the right place. Let's dive on in. Head first, man. Uh, Head first. So you're going to start, obviously, at the main entrance because that's how you get into the damn park. Right, Sammy? <laughs> well, yes. We're, we're, gonna, we're going down to the assumption that, A, you're not going to the western entrance. Yes. And, B, you're getting there nice and early. Yes. Because that is important. Get there early. And get in the crowd and watch whatever opening. I, I'm just have. saying, you know, you get there early too. Wait outside the gate. They have some killer music playing in there, right, Sammy? Like Bark at the Moon, little Bark little at Hell's the Bells. Moon. Well, yeah, they got a, they got some music. Got some bangers. Uh, some Dio. And we're all we're also under the assumption you're not getting buffet. This yeah. is a just you just bought the standard ticket and you want to do your best to get the most of your night. Yes. And this plan has worked. We've used this opening night. Of 2019, yeah. and we were done by like 11:45. Uh, yeah, we, we got done really early. Um, and but then you got to remember too, in the beginning, not as much people. You're gonna see more of the diehard fans there rather than yeah. the the general population. Whereas yeah. later in the year, uh, it's going to get a little bit more packed. Uh, but still, I would follow this plan, especially because we're we're giving you the more popular mazes to hit first, and working your way. So by the time you get to the last couple of mazes, it's a little bit more dead. So, yeah. go ahead, Sammy, take it away. Where are we starting after the main entrance, man? All right, boom, you're going to get in line, right? And so what we're going to recommend is that when you get in line and they're assuming they're putting you in ghost town again, you know, put all the cattle together, go all the way to the right. All the way to the right. What you want to do, boom, all the monsters start coming. You want to walk straight. Keep on going straight. And you're going to cut through the saloon. And once you get to what we call Candyland, make a left. Yes. And then you're going to go right into Origins. Origins, which was the fan favorite of last season as well, and it's guaranteed yeah. to be packed. Guaranteed to be packed. So hit it. Hit it early. Hang that witch. You're going to cry. Have a good time. Be a little scared. Then you go dip out. And it's going to release you right by the rapids. Yes. And when you get out of the rapids, you're going to want to fill your uh, sippy cup up. because yes. I'm sure you already got your sipper cup. Yeah, you've been waiting in line. You know, it was a little <laughs> hot when you waited, but now it's a little cooled down. But you're a little thirsty. You don't want a little, a little drink. thirsty. You want a little drinky poo. Yeah. Then you're going to make a right. You're head towards go, down oh, Silver Bullet. No, no. We're not heading down Silver, not Silver Bullet. Bullet. Pony Express. Pony Express. <laughs> I mixed up my roller coasters. <laughs> yeah. Go through Pony. Cut through Pony. Um, You'll have right here on the left side your little rapids right here. Pony Express. Going towards Western. And you're going to go over the train tracks. You're going to say hi to the Charles and Schultz Theater or whatever it's called now. We're also going to be visit. in the Goring 20. The brand new scare zone, which is probably going to be packed, too, because a lot of people are going to want to see it. Yeah, definitely. Walk through there, get a little scared, and keep staying unsafe and go through Boardwalk Streets. Good old Carnival. Beautiful. And you're going to get all the way towards the end, towards Accelerator. Hold on. While they're, while they're in Carnival, make sure to say hi to Joker for me because uh, he's got a, quite the fan club. So, Yeah, tell him to go back to HHN. Yeah. If you know, you know. You know, you know. <laughs> uh, and then in the back left, you're going to want to go hit the new Maze Mesmer. Um, and that's going to be a real good time. Which is also guaranteed to be packed because it is a new uh, attraction for Not Scary yeah. Farm. Yeah, definitely. If you want to get there, boom. Once you got a mesmer, you're gonna get all released all the way in the back by like Supreme Scream. Yep. And so you're gonna want to cut back up, and you're gonna want to go to one of our favorites, Dark Ride. Good old Dark Ride. Right in there, you're gonna have a great time. Um, go to Clown Hell, 
Now, uh, I mean, uh, get, get your souvenir picture. By by this point in the night, it should be roughly around. So the event opens at seven. It should be roughly about around. It would be around eight fifteen, eight thirty. Um, yeah. Crowd is going to start building up and heading back towards there right now. A lot of the crowd probably went to the left towards uh, Paranormal, um, Waxworks, the Depths, and Dark Entities. Uh, that's where you're going to avoid in the beginning. So by this point, a lot of that crowd is going to start moving to the back towards Origins, Mesmer, Dark Ride. Hit a lot of those up. At that point in which you get out of Dark Ride, you're going to mind and wake your way to where, Sammy? Yeah, you're going to want to cut back. Um, so you're going to get out of Dark Ride right towards the entrance of the Log Ride. Make a right um, and going back to Ghost Town. Towards the towards uh, Calico the, Stage. Oh, yeah, towards the Calico Stage. Make the left over the train tracks. Um, and then make another left towards Silver Bullet. Go underneath and make a right towards Silver Bullet. You'll catch part of Forsaken right here. Um, and go on down. Go into CS. And right when you get to the entrance of CS, there should be Pumpkin Eater. And I don't anticipate a large crowd there at that point. Uh, you never um, know. That is that is yeah. a maze, though. That is right at the entrance. So it's, Right at it's, the entrance. And that's still going to be pretty early on in the night. So, uh it usually Be is careful. mid. It is mid. Uh, usually by midnight to the end of the night, it's usually not as crowded. But it, it since it is in front of the in front of the park, that's a lot of the first people's reactions. Oh, this is the first maze right here. Let's go to it. So there yeah. may be a little bit of a wait by this time, but it shouldn't be too bad. Shouldn't be too bad. Um, so go through Pumpkin Eater. Have a great time. Say hi to the Pumpkin Eater himself. Yes. And then when you get out, you're gonna be like, "Wow, that was so cool!" Make a right. And cut through the rest of CS. The hollow. Uh, the hollow, uh, as it's formally called. Yes. Um, and you'll get all the way to the end, and you'll go to Fiesta. Get a little party on in Fiesta with the DJ. Yeah. Go, yeah, go get a little party on. Yeah. Um, and what you'll want to do at that point, and then you'll get to go see the um, entr- the other side of uh, Forsaken and go back through there. Boom, mm-hmm. boom, 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 boom. Boom, boom, boom. And then go back through. Again, we're gonna we're gonna tell you go back through um, Silver Bullet since you already saw that part of Forsaken, um, and since we told you to go through the the, the all the way right side of uh, Coast Town, we're gonna tell you to cut through, go straight all the way to the end, and go catch the rest of Ghost Town going down Fog, Fog Alley. Alley. Man, you don't want to miss that. That's always you never want to miss Fog Alley. It's always a good time. Yes, you never know what monsters will be lurking behind every dark corner. Yep. Um, and then go so go down Fog Alley. Once you get to the end, make a right right there by Ghost by a Ghost Rider, and go all the way through. Yes, you're going to be and heading then, towards a area called, known as Gypsy Camp. Yeah, Gypsy Camp. It's backstage, normally not open for right. the day operations, but it's open for the fun time. Farm. That is that is Scary Farm. Yep. And so go all the way down, and then you'll find yourself probably having a little bit of wait for the devs. Which is another fan favorite. Yes, cookbook certified. Yeah, cookbook certified has one of our favorite. Three sixteen, bro. It has the the cook three sixteen scare. We got the green lights, the fog machines, and monsters one popping John up. Cook, man. Yeah, and monsters popping up everywhere. Yeah. So have a good time in there. Say hi to Bruce. Yes, if you know, you know, you know, you know. <laughs> yep. And once you get out of there, uh, you'll get released right over by Paranormal and. Um, dark dark entities. entities. So go to Dark Entities because that entrance will be all the way to the to the left. Um, so go up there. Usually Once with again. this one too, it's not too bad of a wait. So this will probably yeah. be your best option after getting out of the depths. Yeah, because um, you waited in the depths probably. So this one's probably gonna be less of a wait because I don't. I, I mean, it's a great maze, but I, for some reason, people just miss it. I think. I think because it's so tucked into the back, and and people get yeah. that confused with the line with paranormal because they are literally right next to each other. Um, yeah. but depths usually doesn't have very long of a wait. I think the most we've ever waited for that maze was like 20 minutes. Yeah. So it goes for the and that's depths. even when or, it gets or, later. Not, into the season. Uh, dark entities. Yeah. Dark entities. Yeah. But, and then once you got dark entities, it'll throw you in the back of a uh, gypsy. So cut back towards the front where the entrance to paranormal will be. And you'll go through paranormal. Have a great time. Um, make sure you split your group up. One of you goes left. The other one goes right. For the optimal you'll, you'll meet back in the middle at in the midpoint of the maze. So, if if, if you, you're lucky, if, you got, if you're lucky, <laughs> yeah. If the other people in front of you aren't too slow, so yeah, yeah. Don't do that. Have stay with your group. Yeah, stay with your group. I mean, if you're looking for optimal scare, yeah. 
But uh, <laughs> from there, them. from there, you'll exit out of Paranormal. You'll go back to uh, the center point of Gypsy Camp, which will lead you to the entrance of Waxworks, which will be your final maze to hit for the night. Yeah. And uh, uh, go through Waxworks, have a good time. If you have any extra time after you're done with this, uh, then check out more into detail the Scare Zones. We highly suggest it because that talent out there, too, is very, very talented. Yeah, definitely. Go check, check out the Scare Zones. Get a funnel cake. Maybe, get a funnel cake. Maybe catch some Pup It Up. Pup It Up. There's shows, too. Um, um, the drums. Whatever drums, it may be. Yeah, Not the blood drums. It's uh, not blood drums no more. It's, uh... Yeah, I don't know the name off the top of my head. <laughs> It's but late. We're, there, we're yeah, late. it is pretty late. But there's a lot of shows for you to catch, so there's a lot of opportunities for you to see different things. Uh, this is our overall game plan. We, Like we said in the beginning of this video, it has proven to work for us. And uh, yeah. we, we got it all done. We were done by the whole event by 11.45. We actually opted out to just leave because the next day, Sammy and I had to wake up for work. But uh, if you guys are planning on staying until the entire event, till it's over, uh, then, yeah, check out some of the scare zones. If the shows are still going at that late of an hour – uh, ch catch a show or whatnot, and yeah. Uh, yeah, just enjoy the event. It's a lot of fun. Say hi to our bench for us if you have some free time. Yeah, I'm gonna miss her this season a lot. We'll miss her too. We'll we'll give her some love. Give her some love, you know. Um, but that's pretty much our game plan for Not Scary Farm 2021. Um, we went off the 2019 map just to kind of give you an example, but we filled in what was gone and what is coming this year. So. Um, we are very excited. We cannot wait for you guys to uh, experience this event. should be a lot of fun. And, uh, again, this game plan has proven to work for us, uh, and I hope it proves to work for you guys. Um, we look forward to seeing you guys at the parks, look forward to hearing your thoughts about the event. And, like always, uh, we're, just, we're just thankful that we're having a, a full haunt season this year. Yeah. So go ahead, drop a comment below if you have a different game plan. We'd love to hear how you guys conquer knots every year. If you like this video, go ahead and drop a like as well. If you haven't done so already, subscribe to the channel and turn those bell notifications on. That way you can be informed every time we post a video. Um, and if you have, if you ever want to contact us, don't uh, hesitate to reach out to us on Twitter at Nights of War and on Instagram at The Nights of War. We're always here for a good time. We're not here for a long time, but we're certainly here for a good time. Yep. All right. It's been fun, but we've got to run. We'll see you in the next video. Peace. Peace.